When you think of Donna Karen, it's only natural to think of New York. However, Donna Karen has created a brand that speaks to the needs of women not just in New York, but across the globe. After several decades of success, Donna Karen is now using her influence to help people in developing nations through her Urban Zen Foundation. And to support the foundation, she has created the Urban Zen Store. With stores already in New York and Sag Harbor, an Urban Zen store opened in West Hollywood, California to bring the concept to the West Coast. Originally opened as a pop-up store, the store's success has led it to opening permanently this last October. We went to the store to find out more about the store itself and the concept that drives it and the foundation. Midvani Monroe with Ladies Who Lunch, and I'm with John Omler today, who is the director of stores for Urban Zen, a new concept in retail, and I'd like him to tell us all about it. Um, we're here at Urban Zen uh, in LA. We did a brief pop-up store. Uh, we have stores in New York and in Sag Harbor. Uh, we started, uh, Donna Karen started Urban Zen Foundation about three years ago, and in order to support the foundation, created Urban Zen Retail. Can you tell me about the foundation itself? What does the foundation support? The foundation has three initiatives. Uh, one is the support of cultures uh, around the world, and that's kind of what brings people into, or brings our product into Urban Zen by Donna's Travels. Uh, we do a great, it's called the Use It program. It's an integra integrative therapy program. Uh, it's training therapists to work with aromatherapy, Reiki massage, and yoga techniques on patients. You can visit our website to find out about that. Um, and the third is the preservation of cultures. So you'll see a lot of our artwork, or again, our artisans are inspired by, inspired by the cultures around the world. Well, that's a very, very interesting foundation, uh, very good causes. Now, the, the products that started the whole line were clothing products, I'm assuming? Yes, uh, Donna, very yoga-inspired line. It's a silk cashmere um, kind of basics program. Uh, started with a capri legging and a tunic top. Okay, why don't we take a look and see them? Here. So again, very yoga inspired product, uh, and it's all about the layering. So start it with a basic tunic and a capri, um, and a longer version, or a long sleeve version of the same, same fabric. And then just as Donna wears herself, layering up with heavy, heavier sweaters. Perfect for the climate out here in uh, California. Oh, most definitely perfect for out here where it does get quite cold at night. Exactly. Yes. So then from there you moved into um, cotton jerseys as well? Correct. Uh, this is part of our spring line. Um, again, all about the drape. We know Donna loves to drape. Uh, we mix it here with some Wenga jewelry. Again, an artisan Donna found in Africa who started as a cobbler. It's all uh, hand dyed skins and hand uh, stitch. And he takes everything from beads to wood uh, to a lot of found pieces. Each piece is an individual piece, none, none two are alike. Uh, another artisan that we have here is Jason Ross. Uh, Jason Ross loves to do um, recycled leathers and recycled metalwork. Uh, he's an artist out of uh, Brooklyn, New York and Red Hook. Uh, we also work with Lauren Bush from the Feed Network, again just supporting causes that are close to our heart. And then from clothing, you then expanded past that into into a home collection. Home collection? Uh, the home collection was really inspired by Donna's house in Parrot Cay. Uh, it's all Balinese teak, um, and it's all made over there. It was all, the original pieces really were designed for her house down in Parrot Cay. And since it's also a lifestyle brand encompassing all areas of your life, um, I see that you also have a lot of um, body products as well. Right. Uh, really kind of starting with the foundation really is our aromatherapy that is part of our therapist program. Uh, we work with Young Living Oils uh, and sell their oils within the store. Uh, I was a non-believer and now I'm a believer. Uh, thieves is what we burn and it's part of the scent. Uh, thieves uh, kills 98% of all airborne germs, so we use it kind of as a sanitizer around here. Uh, Kahina, um, a woman came to us, actually the Berber women in Morocco are the only ones to produce this product uh, and she supports uh, those women over there. And then Como Shambhala, actually uh, Christina Ong and Donna 
our friends, they met on Parrot K, uh, and we're the only ones that sell in the U.S., and it's used in all the Como Shambhala spas around the world. Well, one thing that we do, again, uh, we got very involved with Haiti uh, last year after the earthquake. We had a great benefit um, uh, right after the earthquake l last year, and then we had another one this year to uh, honor Sean Penn. Uh, part of that, um, we actually found artisans, or a, uh, a person who found artisans who make these um, hearts in Haiti, uh, and part of our program is we sell the hearts. Uh, when you buy a heart, we encourage you to decorate it and send it back, and you'll see on our website, uh, there will be a whole uh, story behind it. And again, it's all called Hearts for Haiti. Actually, uh, the person who started the foundation, um, or st sorry, started this benefit, was really find, trying to find a way to support the artisans over in Haiti after the earthquake. And one of the, one of the groups that he worked with was a bunch of stonemasons, and that's how they created the hearts. During New York Fashion Week, we were able to speak with Ms. Karen about the Urban Zen Foundation and the projects it is working on in Haiti. I mean, just like a few comments about from you about the Urban Zen Foundation and what you're achieving with it. Well, I think what's going to be fabulous is this Sunday night. I've got to tell Monday night, you know what's happening Monday, right? So Monday night, I've been able to, this is all what, the work I'm doing in Haiti. So the I Haiti, one of your Haiti shirts. The yeah. Haiti influences, influence the collection and the whole spring collection is about Haiti. So I'm, I'm doing an after party showing all of Haiti and all the products that we developed in Haiti that that have been, will hopefully take on to the next level and inspire a lot of other designers to go because I really do think this is a model for all developing countries. You know, instead of just giving them mod money, is to really help them and, you know, give them availability of jobs and support. And Haiti, for me, is a model for all the developing world. Particularly, it's a model that Bali has used. And I've been very involved in Bali. So I make all my furniture in Bali and all, which I've done for years and years. So hopefully now introducing that into Haiti and to, it's been a challenge, but it's probably been one of the most rewarding things I've ever done. The beauty of Haiti is it really covers all of the urban Zen um, issues, which is healthcare, education, and culture. So we are in the hospitals with our urban Zen integrative therapists. We go into education, and we go into, obviously, the preservation of culture and product, and building the creative education. So I'm very, very excited about the work there. Really kind of like Haiti sort of holds the whole umbrella together. That is excellent. So again, come down and make sure you come and see it. I definitely will. Again, different things. Uh, again, like Dignity, um, actually it's an artist out here. Um, she's supporting um, um, indigenous cultures around the world. Again, she came to us through, through Donna. Uh, and her association uh, with Amnesty International. I love how it, it, everything keeps tying back into <laughs> yes. into causes as opposed to just being about sales. Right. Well, I hate to reuse the term organic too much, but everything really comes to us through an organic process. It's people that come either to the foundation or to Donna personally and kind of find us and, and that's how kind of we work and, and we work together. Do you know how she got involved in the foundation and wanting to set up the foundation to begin with? Yes. Actually, uh, Lynn Coleman, a good friend of hers and a designer for her, um, actually came down with uh, breast cancer first and then brain cancer and passed away. And then after that, her husband passed away of lung cancer. And that's when she started the foundation. So it really started in his artist studio. Uh, Stephen Weiss was a beautiful sculptor. He did the, it's, uh, there's an apple. Uh, on the West Side Highway and the horse at Steve Wynn okay, yes. uh, and designed her original bottle for the um, cashmere fragrance. Oh. So it's gorgeous. Yeah, so his studio became the foundation. Uh, we run events there with, again, a whole gamut of different organizations. Um, and that's kind of how everything got started. So it, it started off as something very personal and then kind of went global. Right, exactly. If you can't make it to the Urban Zen stores in West Hollywood, New York, or Sag Harbor, you can still shop Urban Zen online and help to make a difference in this world while doing it stylishly.